What's up guys, Headed here, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a PHP MySQL login system with cookies. So here's how it's going to look like. A bit like that, however, we'll have the register button right here, or next to the login button. So I'm going to present to you how it works. So once I log in, it says, welcome to a private area admin, and this is because of cookies, so I can go back and move forward, and I'm still logged in. It's uh, because I have the cookie, and once I log out, it deletes the cookie, so if I go back here and reload the page, it says you you aren't logged in. Click to log in. So this is what we're going to do, and what you're going to need for this is a server software, for example, XAMPP, or XAMPP, uh, many people say XAMPP. Uh, however, I'm using Denver, it's a Russian tool, because XAMPP didn't work for me, and therefore I found an alternative uh, software. And what you will have for that is um, you, you can use PHP and you'll have PHP My Admin. And if you don't have that, once you install it, so I don't know much about XAMPP, so uh, if you don't have it, you need to get PHP My Admin. And what you want to do is go to Databases, create a database, I'm going to call it Tut, create, go inside it and make a table, call it users, with three columns. The first one will be ID, the second one will be, it doesn't show me, username, and the third one will be password, you can call it pass hash because I do that but in this tutorial I won't. And set the ID to primary and auto... Uh, I don't know what it's called in written. It will tell me here. Auto increment. That That's it. Okay, so once we have the table we need to get into and this is the one I made for presentation. I'm going to make a new one and I have a folder set up here. I'm going to drop it in there and create a file. Call it index.php. Get some HTML basic stuff here. I don't need this and style sheet I don't need also. Uh, and then we want to do is form it's going to get me something like this and the action is login.php and the method is post and what I will do here is make a label call it username uh, copy this and call this one password. So the first one is input. I'm gonna make it like this. Input text. Name is username. And we can set a placeholder username. Second one is input password. So I'll search for it in here because it pre-creates me uh, everything that should belong into there. And this one will say password. And I hope it will convert it to password characters even though the, pa uh, password, the placeholder is password. So let me go to the place. And I called it a login tut. Okay, that didn't work out well. Login tut. Okay, so it's actually missing here. For some reason. Because here. Right, however, I need a BR here. So 
So this looks a lot better now. And what I also need is a submit button input input submit with the value login and I'm gonna make oh yeah name login and I'm gonna make one with register and actually call it log rack because I can be registering or logging So we're going to have both. So this is how it looks. I'm going to remove this one and set one here. No. Here. Okay, so this looks better. The password chart works. Let's get into the coding. We need a file and call it log rec php and right here uh, we, I'm gonna make it uh, I did it for the presentation one I did it in uh, object-oriented style but we're gonna use the procedural style so what I'm gonna do is first I wanna make the cookie settings uh, which is cookie name logged in that's uh, the cookie name so if we search for that in the browser we will find it under a locked in or local host at this um, at this example because the domain is local host okay I don't need this uh, window anymore and second will be cookie value However, we're not going to set it here because it will be assigned, uh, a value will be assigned. So what I'm going to do next is set up the server uh, thing, so server name username and the server name is uh, equal to localhost for me and the user is root root and the password I don't have one and the database is PHP no what was it tut and now I'm going to create a connection for this using MySQL uh, MySQL I MySQL I connect and it needs the server name it needs the not this it needs the username it needs the password it needs the database so if we don't connect not here here if we don't connect we die and say database connection failed and put here what the matter is MySQLi connect error uh, so once it works If it's uh, login, login, we do the following else if 
it is. Register, we do the following. So let me do the login first. So we need a user equals um, get this here pass equals here username password 